Welcome everyone to the Monday, October 5th, 2020 Kubernetes SIG apps. And I'll start by dropping in to chat the link for today's agenda if you don't already have it. And the announcement, uh, there are, and many of you may already know this, uh, the two new labels, um, the needs triage and triage accepted label using the accepted um, or triage slash triage accepted to accept. Uh, is this up and running? I haven't looked. I could see those labels, but only about two PRs have them. So okay. I assume it's just for the new PRs. So we still have to triage the old ones and then switch okay. over to, to this. At least that's my understanding. Okay. I like this. It, it'll, I, I think it'll be helpful in triaging things. Uh, but that was the, the one announcement that was Janet's. Fortunately, she didn't make it. Uh, the next one, we'll get into the discussion. There's the enhancement slip and there's a spreadsheet of enhancement slip. And one of them is for SIG apps. Actually, there's a bunch for SIG apps. There's the pod disruption budget, the max unavailable for stateful sets, and the execution hook. And unfortunately, I have not been following these. Does anybody have any details on What's going on with the slip on these? <laughs> I can talk about the PDDs to GA, but that's a separate topic, so we can do the other first. Okay. All right, I'll follow up. I think uh, Ken was the one who was working on, Ken and Janet knew what was up with these and I expected Janet here, I'm surprised she's not. So uh, I'll follow up with them offline and we'll see what comes of that. Then the other item we have is the PDB to GA. Do you wanna take this away with the next item? Uh, yeah, so I put this on there. Um, this is something I was working on a while back. Um, I haven't looked at it in a while, uh, and I don't actually have a ton of time for it, but it's also, we're getting close to the time where it needs to go to GA or it'll be deprecated, so we need to make progress on this. Um, I've started to look at it again uh, and see where we are. I think the the issue team seems to mostly be the same. Uh, I have to, op or I reopen them now because they had been automatically closed to up to the cap. Um, I think those two covers, the, the two most important open sort of issues that we need to close before we can go to GA. Um, the project added a link to the doc has a list of the different open issues that have been sort of deemed critical to close before we take it to GA. Um, so if, if, like, if, if someone else had time, I want to do this. Uh, I'm happy to let someone else remember this. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll do my best to make progress on this. Uh, and I think the first thing is those two up to the cap. Um, they need some updates to to allow me a new format for caps, uh, I'll get to that. Um, but uh, the, the issues discussed there are the same. We need to figure out how to deal with some error cases and how to deal with, especially, uh, post uh, crash looping, which can lead to some crazy situations now. Have you, have you actually looked at the timeline? Uh... Where is it going away? I'm just trying to figure out how much time we have. Uh, uh, so uh, PDBs are on the same timeline as cron job, which basically means the deprecation will start in 122, which basically means we don't have that much time. Um, Martin, I have a one question. I 
actually I have two questions and I left them in the doc. Uh, first of all, uh, I was talking with Voidex some time ago uh, about PDBs and um, the most important question is, do we need to um, modify the API of the PDB to be, uh, to be able to GA or it's only functional changes in the controller code that needs to happen before we GA? So I think there might be some small changes to the API. That's mostly around how to handle errors. Um, particularly, PDB is now doesn't expose any conditions. Um, so it can be hard for users to, to detect when, when something goes wrong and the controller can't, for some reason, can't compute the allowed disruptions um, and that will block all evictions. It's not easy always to, <laughs> to see when that happens. Um, there's also an open issue that was open last week around how uh, the discussion controller handles empty selectors. Um, it, won't, it won't directly require us to change the API per se, but uh, we need to probably change how, how the controller interprets um, an empty selector, um, which is a breaking change. So we need to figure out how we can update that in V1 because it's probably not acceptable to change it in V1 beta 1 directly. Okay, so follow up, uh, follow up question. Um, I doubt we will be able to push the cap for 120 because the feature freeze is tomorrow. So it's literally impossible. But I would still try to put together and we can sync either um, I can uh, refresh the cap or you can do it uh, because I would really like to see the uh, get the cap being updated within the 120 release frame such that it is ready for 121 to be merged as soon as the gates open for 121 and we can cross-check at least one bit. And at the same time, hopefully within 120, we should be able to modify or fix the currently open issues, at least the ones that do not require API changes. What do you think about it? Yeah, I agree. I don't think there's any, we need to do anything for the deadline tomorrow. The important deadline is to make sure that we get this done before it gets deprecated. And like you said, there's not that much time left. So if that's going to happen, we need to get things moving now. Um, exactly. And if you're, if you're saying that there's one, I can't remember which one was it. There's one particular, uh, fix that will require API change and that will be a breaking change. We can probably address that when GAing the API, hopefully let's say in 121, and then we will just, um, the V1 beta one will be broken or we will provide uh, an opt-in, whereas in, in, uh, in the V1, we will have uh, the selector fixed properly. I, I Can we actually GA the API or do we have to do another beta? If we do it before 122, we can GA the API. If we don't make it before 122, uh, the API goes into deprecated and we need to have a second uh, beta to be able to progress to GA. So if possible, I would prefer to, uh, I would prefer to, uh, save people from too much of a hassle, uh, switching from one beta to, two, to second beta, and then finally to GA, but rather um, uh, squeeze that in within 121. And that's, theoretically, that's doable. 
If not, we can yeah, skip it to uh, going through. Yeah, going via V1 beta 2 just means more work for everyone. OK. That sounds great. Um, we'll try and keep an eye in SIG apps in the meetings and with everything on, uh, on dates, uh, especially with regard to 121, so we can try and stay a little bit better on top of this one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Uh, then we have a, I haven't looked at this one yet, a Damon set max surge cap. I haven't looked at this one in a while. This is from March of this year. So Clayton put together this cap um, quite some time ago. We, we talked through this several times during SIG apps in the past. Yeah. Um, I think as it stands today, and both Tomas and I um, had a look at it uh, on Friday, um, overall, it addresses all the concerns that people uh, brought up. Brought up. Uh, the only missing bit was the PRR uh, section, which is required in the new CAP format. Um, so current, I, I haven't looked at the PRR, uh, but I have uh, faith in Clayton. So that should be pretty, uh, pretty ready. So I'll have a look at it after the call and we probably need um, either you, uh, Janet or Ken, uh, put a final approver before tomorrow. Okay, I'll take the action to chase this one down. And, and see if we can approve it by tomorrow. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks very much, Matt. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else? Uh, I can share that the cron job cap got merged. Oh, and fantastic. Ally, who's on the call, we are working together on the new controller implementation currently. If luck allows, we should be able to start merging the initial implementation this or next week. All right. Thank you for that update. Is there anything else? All right, then we'll give everybody 42 minutes of their time back. Thank you all for coming today. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you back here in two weeks. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.